what's on the news. Scientists say that the Z virus has taken more casualties than what the Spanish influenza did in the year 1918. The estimated number of deaths during the Spanish influenza comes out to about 21 million deaths just weeks after the Z virus pandemic has spread across the world and the United States of America has already lost 1,372 citizens. People with this virus have been quarantined and dead bodies are being cremated to prevent further virus spread. People infected should also expect to experience stomach pains, headaches, and the redding of eyes. Others with more serious stages of this infection will start to have cannibalistic urges along with the loss of general judgment and the natural use of limbs. Seizure-like contorting is one of the first signs of a heavily infected individual. Once the virus kills the host, the host does not fully die. Doctors and scientists are appalled by how this virus works. Not once in the history of this planet can we find an outbreak like this one. Do not, do not make contact with any, any one of the infected because they may try to devour you. If you notice any of these symptoms in yourself or your family members, contact 911 right away. Are you watching the news? No. Well, you should because the virus is worse than we thought. Worse as in STD worse or? No, way worse. It's basically turning people into cannibals. All I know is that we have no school until this virus goes down. Seriously, Lexi? We could die if scientists don't find a cure. Well, why don't we just research this a bit and see what the hell's going on? Okay. A virus is a microscopic organism that is mostly made of genetic material. RNA, which is one of them, stands for ribonucleic acid. It is a polymeric molecule made up of one or more nucleotides. The second one is DNA, a molecule that encodes genetic instructions used in the development and functioning of all known living organisms. The virus particle will attach itself to the host cell. The particle releases its genetic instructions into the host cell. The injected genetic material recruits the host cell enzymes. The new particles assemble the parts into new viruses. Lastly, the new particles will break free from the host cell. Viruses vary widely in their shape and complexity. Some look like round popcorn balls, while others have a complicated shape that looks like a spider or the Apollo lunar lander. T cells are a subset of lymphocytes that play a large role in the immune response. T stands for thymus, the organ in which the final stage of development occurs. Viruses can exist for a long time outside the body and are extremely hard to kill. This is why if there was a global pandemic, we would be in trouble. One major virus could potentially wipe out the entire human race. There's food scraps right here, and I just heard a dog barking. That means there's someone with food and water. Let's go. See, it's cold because you can't. All right, I'll take the tent. You go get those food supplies. Got it. Let's just go. But before we leave, can you grab me something? There's corn. Wait! Wait! Corn!